welcome back to my channel. I have another what I eat in a day today and I'm really excited because today is also an announcement video and it's been something that's been in the works and I just feel like it's gonna be a fun new direction that my content and stuff is going in. So first of all, let's chat about what I have for breakfast. So I don't eat breakfast, I actually do intermittent fasting. So my first meal of the day is usually a little after lunchtime. So normally, whenever I'm staying in fasting mode, I actually drink black coffee, whether it's iced or hot, and I'll put a little bit of stevia in it and go about my morning just kind of sipping at it. But today, as you guys just saw, I made kind of a special coffee. And the reason I made a special coffee this morning is because today is a little bit of a celebrating day. So I have an announcement for you guys. I'm so excited. I have decided to go ahead and actually start two more channels. And the reason I've done that is because I think I've got about three different types of viewers and maybe you guys fall into all three maybe you only like one that's okay and this is why I'm doing this so I just launched a vlog channel and it's called Adeline vlogs the links for everything will be below and then I also just started a cleaning channel so this channel is going to be called Adeline's kitchen from now on instead of just Adeline Zook my name and I'll be doing a lot of meal prepping freezer prep what I eat in a day um, meal planning dinner ideas, um, all of those kind of things. Anything in the kitchen will be on this channel. And then on my cleaning channel will be home decor, um, my decorating videos, my DIYs, home makeover stuff, like doing rooms over, things that I've done for a long, long time, and obviously cleaning motivation. So that'll be on that channel. And then my vlog channel will just be vlogs and uh, face-based videos, which I know you guys have been requesting, like how I study my Bible and just encouragement and stuff like that. So that will be on my vlog channel. And then my vlog channel will probably also be a place that whenever I just get a great idea to film something, it will go on there. So maybe you fall into all those categories. Maybe you're only interested in one or the other, but I thought this would be a really great way to kind of categorize things. And then you guys can pick what you want to be subscribed to, or maybe you want to be subscribed to all of them. The other thing I wanted to mention, in case you didn't know this, because I think a lot of people don't know this, but if you don't have the bell notification hit next to the little subscribe button on your favorite channels, you're actually considered an optional subscriber so that means that they will choose sometimes to not show you videos that youtubers upload even if you're subscribed to their channel so if you want to in your subscription feed have your favorite youtubers videos pop up do make sure you always have the bell hit so if you want to make sure that you can see my videos whenever I upload them because I get messages pretty regularly where people say like I was unsubscribed or I never saw your videos or all of a sudden I stopped seeing your videos. So that is one way that you can be sure that you will catch all the new videos. Pause for a moment, sip of coffee. Mm -hmm. I love the pumpkin cream cold brew from Starbucks, but this is this is really, really good. Anyways, the other thing I wanted to mention is I'm now going back on a schedule. So at the beginning of each video, you will know what the schedule is for that particular channel. And I will also leave that below with the links for my new channels. So now that you guys know what's up, what's going on, I just, I can't even tell you how excited I am about all of this and got a lot of content, new content coming up. And then also today, today there is videos on those channels they went live right when this one did and so you guys can go you guys are getting three videos from me today which is a little bit crazy i've never done three videos in one day for sure but um from then on you guys will see what the new schedule will be and i think that's all i have to say about this other than i hope that you go subscribe to both of the new channels and let's get our day started all right, so in the morning, after I get my coffee made, because we all know that's gotta be first, I always get the girls uh, breakfast together. And sometimes I give them a little snack, like before I have breakfast ready. And sometimes we do cereal. I would say that our breakfasts are, breakfasts is, is breakfasts <laughs> are pretty like there's a pretty big variety of what we do so this morning I'm actually gonna do what we call dippy eggs and toast 
and I don't know if that's just something I grew up saying or if there's other people that say that let me know in the comments if you guys say that too but I'm gonna just go ahead and fry up some I think they would be considered like over easy eggs and then just some toast in the pan a little fun fact about us we do not have a toaster I think we did right after we got married but I got rid of it because my husband loves having toast toasted right in the pan with some butter and once I started doing it that way I fell in love with doing it that way too and so that's how we make toast. How's the food? Mm -hmm. Yummy? Okay. All right, so something that we have been trying to do um, while they're eating at least one meal, it might be breakfast, lunch, today it's working out to be lunchtime, is I'm reading out of this. I recently got this off of Amazon. I really love it because every single story um, points to Jesus, which is really cool. It even brings out the fact that he's coming soon in the Old Testament stories. I just love how it's written. It's really, really nice. And the girls really, really like it, right guys? Yeah, it's one of your favorite things. Okay, so Corey and I tend to eat lunch a little bit later than the girls do. I would say probably like two o'clock. There are days that we only eat one meal too. We will do like a big dinner and just totally skip lunch. So a lot of times our lunches are on the light side since we tend to eat a majority of our food in the evening. So what I'm actually gonna be making for Corey and I is something that we both really, really love and it's the whole reason we got our air fryer back here. Um, it is wings. You can make amazing wings, chicken wings, in the air fryer just as good as at the restaurant and it's something that we often do for a meal. And so today, as kind of a light lunch, we're gonna just do up some chicken wings in the air fryer. I'm gonna show you how we do it, and it's gonna make you want an air fryer if you like chicken wings because it just makes them crispy and just totally perfect. All right, so basically, it's pretty simple, but all you'll need is some chicken wings, and um, these here I think I need to cut. Most of the time you have to cut them uh, right in half, and then, you can put them right into the air fryer. So basically you cut them, you spray them down with a kitchen spray, it can be any kind that you want, um, and then you throw them into the air fryer. Alright, so we put them in for, I think it's like around 30 minutes, it's at 400, yeah. I think that's about what we do and then we just kind of check them as they go and we can put them in for longer if we want them to be crispier and then I'll show you how we add the sauce. While the chicken wings are frying up in there, I'll tell you what the girls had for lunch. So they had some meatballs, which I prepared. They were in the freezer. And I'll leave the video link where I made those in my last freezer prep video below. And then they also had some applesauce with cinnamon on it. And then they also had some of the yogurt sticks that I make with uh, strawberries and stevia. different sauces and stuff and the one brand that we've been trying the last little while is what is it called beef o brady's i think Corey really likes this one the garlic parmesan sauce and then they have a what is it 
buffalo, just a regular buffalo sauce. Now what was the other one that we had tried? It was like mango habanero, something like that. Yeah. So they have some really great ones. I have found them at Publix. He's showing you. That is what the buffalo ones look like, but they turn out perfect. How was your nap? Good. Good. How about you, Evie? Did you sleep good? So usually after the girls wake up from their nap, they have some sort of snack um, to kind of hold them over until it's dinner time. And so right now it's in the middle of the afternoon. And this is what a typical snack looks like around this time of the day. Okay guys, so it is dinner time and I'm going to make one of our favorite dinners. In fact, the side I'm making tonight, or one of the sides, is one that I make pretty much every single week. So I'm going to be making some barbecue bacon cheeseburger meatballs and I'm gonna be making some peas, just putting some butter and salt on them. And then I'm also going to make some mashed cauliflower. Um, if you watch me a lot, you know that that is something that we make a lot. It's something we really enjoy and I'll show you guys how I make it. And I'm going to go ahead and get the meatballs mixed up and I'll show you what I'm putting in them. All right, so I've got some ground beef here. It's actually, I get the three pound uh, like log of beef and I just cut it in half. So it's like a pound and a half in here. And then I'm gonna be adding in an egg. I'm going to add some of this stuff. I'm gonna not say it because every time I say it, everybody corrects me on how they think I should say it. <laughs> but it's really good in meat. And then I'm also gonna sprinkle a little bit of coconut flour just to be the binder. Then I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in my frying pan and put all of the meatballs in there and actually pan fry them. I really like making my meatballs this way the best. And then I will heat up my barbecue sauce in the microwave and dump that over it and then I'm gonna top it with grated cheddar cheese and some bacon to give us that barbecue bacon cheeseburger feel. And I'm going to also put my peas in my pot back here, put some water in there, and then I will be putting my cauliflower into my pressure cooker because that's how I make my mashed cauliflower. Once you have your whole head of cauliflower in here, all you're gonna do is push manual, um, and then you wanna take your pressure and put it all the way up. And you wanna push cook time, put it all the way down to one minute, and then push on. And so at this point, it's gonna build up the pressure. You wanna make sure your valve is closed up here. And then it's gonna sit and cook for one minute, and then it's going to release the pressure and I let it release the pressure for about uh, seven minutes or so. Then it's ready to open and you can dump the water off. And then I'll show you how I finish it up. Put a little sour cream in it and it's super simple, super yummy.
thanks so much for joining me for um, what I eat in a day and I was super excited to share with you guys about my new channel so don't forget to go over to them and check out those new videos and don't forget to leave a comment on this video especially if you like this style content it really gives me a good idea on which videos to make or which ones you guys enjoy the most don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe if you're new, hang around, see if you find something that inspires you, and I'll see you guys in my next video.